the same place at the same time. Do you see me? I hope you do. First, thank you so much for making time to speak with me. And this is kind of really weird because do you remember the last time when you and I spoke in person? In person, oh, I, it yeah. would have to be the launch, I think, because before yeah. that we had another phone interview. Yeah. So first time we speak, it's the launch, um, and congratulations on that success and what you did on the show and everything else. Thank you. And you know, being around people and being out for interviews and television and all this great stuff. And the next time we did it, we did it on the radio because we had. Oh, it was probably on my end, busy schedule. Of course, you had a busy schedule running around, and that was the only way we could do this was over the phone. Now, who would have thought that the next time we spoke, the world literally shut down because of what's going on, and the only way. Exactly. (laughs) And the only way we could talk is like this. So I'm going to ask you right off the top, how are you doing? How's the family? Uh, And how how are you dealing with this whole coronavirus shutdown? Thank you for asking. I'm I'm actually doing quite well, just taking this time to kind of rest and, and write a lot. My family's all healthy, grandparents, um, et cetera. Everyone's kind of just staying home, staying um, away from each other, but in, in a positive way. Um, and, but, but, yeah, how, how are you? Are you healthy? I'm good. Um, it's funny because as we're speaking, just to give people a little sort of snippet of what's going on, I'm actually sitting in my car to do this interview because um, – I feel like it's the most quietest place to do it, and um, it, it, it definitely works for me, and it's almost like uh, sitting in my car is really like my isolation, if you know what I mean, So, because I keep oh, everything all clean and everything else. So, great but it time. Is, there you go. But it is great to have a chance to speak with you, and congratulations on the new music, because we're going to talk about the new single, though. Um, but how do you think that um, from – first chance we had to meet and the world really had a chance to meet you through the launch and um, how do you think that you progressed and your music has changed and how you dealt with this uh, newfound popularity so I've definitely um, just become more I think sure and aware of the sound I really want to achieve within my music which has really really been exciting for me I think lots of artists strive to have kind of a stamped sound and something that's really unique to them So through this whole process in the past year and a half, I've really kind of buckled down and gone to the studio, really worked to refine my sound and my music. So my my writing and the songs are definitely starting to come together as something that really feels like me. So that's definitely really exciting for me. What would you call your sound now then? So I'd say a year and a half ago, it was very folky, and now it's kind Mm -hmm. of done a total 360 into the kind of indie pop world. Was there anybody or anything that you were maybe listening to that you were going, you know what, this is something that I've really wanted to dwell into but didn't have that opportunity and now that I do? I've definitely always been a Dua Lipa um, fan and and listened to her music, so she's definitely been a big kind of inspiration into adding some 80s synths into certain songs and just kind of experimenting with all the different sounds that come along with pop. You know, and that's also, in a lot of ways, you taking a chance because, of course, for us knowing you from from the launch, we're thinking, okay, this is what we know of you. Um, Were there any thoughts of realizing that this might be a risk? Definitely. I think with everything you do as a creative, um, art is very, like, subjective, right? Some people love it. Some people will hate it. But at the end of the day, if you can – to stay authentic to yourself and if you believe in the words you're saying and the music you're making then i think that'll really translate well and and hopefully others um love and believe in it too so you go into the studio um you've been having all these thoughts what were the stories that you wanted to talk about because we're going to head into the new single in a second but what were your thoughts and telling about who you are at this point in your career so this um, single that, that was just released and kind of these songs, there's about four or five that I've been working on that will be a part of an EP. They were really just about um, different love stories that I've either observed in my life or I've experienced in my life. So this whole project and these songs are really just about navigating the waters of love and heartbreak. All right. So let's get into it one more time. What's the new single called? Make sure everybody knows. And what's it about? So Think of Me is the title of my new single. 
And I actually wrote this song with Tyler Shaw, and it's just a post-breakup anthem. It's about kind of the question we all ask ourselves and I think can relate to post-breakup when you're kind of just sitting there and wondering, I'm thinking of this person, do they think of me? And that's kind of um, the tagline in the song. Do you think of me when you wish somebody else? When you're drinking by yourself, tell me what you do. What's it like working with Tyler? I've known Tyler for years and uh, just watching how he has grown in this industry. Like, honest to God, from the first time I met him to who he is now, completely two different people. He has such charisma and such passion and such talent that he's really, uh, really exploding with. What was it like working with him? Completely. And I think you summed him up pretty well. He's just an amazing musician. And along with that, just a really awesome, kind, um, human being. So it's been really fun to work with him and I'm hopefully going to keep writing with him in the near future. How did you guys get together for this project? We actually connected through Instagram. I had posted a cover and then he kind of messaged me about it. And then I just said, Hey, I'm in Toronto. Like, are, are you free to write? And he said, totally. And then we had a session and that kind of, I guess, sparked our um, partnership like as writers, but then also just we're, we're good friends now. So it's been kind of cool to see that unfold. You know I'm going to go for collaboration and vocals. Will that ever happen? Do you think you guys will ever sing together, perform together, maybe even do an EP and album together? I hope so. I'd say stay tuned because we're, we're working on some stuff, so maybe in the new future. Well, we need to stay tuned also to see if you're going to be doing any live stream performances. Is that going to be happening? So I've actually done a few, but uh, as of right now, none in the works, but I'll be posting all of my Instagram um, at Olivia Lunny for any any further details if I'll do live. So feel free to follow me, everyone, because that's kind of where I, I post updates. So one more time, just want to make sure on all social media platforms, where do we go to follow you? Just Olivia Lunny is my name on, I guess, every Facebook, Spotify, um, Instagram, Twitter, all the above. Olivia, thank you so much for making time for me. Thank you for even that first time when we spoke um, from the launch and always making sure that you kept an open door for me to be able to talk to you about new music and everything that's going on in your life. So I really appreciate that. Please be safe. Uh, I hope your family's going to be safe too throughout this time. But uh, thank you for bringing us some happiness with new music. Everybody's looking forward to hearing the new single and enjoying it. And more importantly, we're looking forward to, and definitely for me, that the next time we speak, ain't going to happen over the phone. We're going to do this in person. And thank That's you it. so much for continuing to show interest and just help me share share my message. Thank you so much. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Definitely will. Take care. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.